I am a curious person and I like challenges. Having a group that can support each other and, and having different labs. And everybody is willing to help and this is amazing. Almost everyone has like a personal relationship to cancer, like everyone has someone in their family or like maybe a friend or maybe a relative that has like struggled with cancer. The research we do here with Magic Bullet maybe has the chance to have someone like down the line in the future, like even if it's a slim chance. I think it, it sort of that's what motivates me the most. Magic Bullet Reloaded is in fact the second edition of a European training network. It is devoted to the targeted delivery of anti-tumor agents to avoid side effects in tumor therapy. It is an European graduate school bringing together scientists from chemistry and biology from all over Europe and the PhD students will also spend some time in other places to learn other techniques. I hope uh, that uh, we will improve uh, with uh, what we are synthesizing uh, and uh, also researching, uh, that the patient can overcome the problems uh, of uh, the chemotherapy, so to have uh, anti-cancer drugs uh, that are uh, selective uh, and uh, they can uh, avoid the collateral damages uh, uh, of uh, the normal uh, chemotherapy and also the psychological situation for a patient. This is a training network and this is the aim of the network to help each other with our uh, expertise but also because there is a direct collaboration between chemists and biologists. This is really great because uh, you can ask uh, what you think about this test or what is better, so it's really helpful. You have 15 PhD students in total and you have like a lot of different labs from all over Europe. Magic Bullet Reloaded is an excellent example for European funded science and a unified Europe is, from my point of view, also a major benefit for politics, economy, but also for science. Changing laboratory is changing also perspective, and so this can trigger some ideas new and then can help your project. So I think getting out of your comfort zone and like learning new things, and adapting to a new uh, research environment, and meeting new people and then exchanging new ideas are quite important. And in this network, like you receive a lot of training courses, conferences, like, like really prepare you to continue and to like be a, a good scientist. We got different type of training for different aspects. So that was important because doing research is not only doing it in the lab, but it's important also to communicate that and so we got training in how to write a paper or in how to address our research to the public. The like best aspect of having this network is the support of like 20 or 30 people behind you which, which feels really nice. Yeah. I mean research is tough and this network is like a family, so whenever you have a problem, there, is, there are always people coming for helping you. And that was uh, super cool. <laughs> it's really a nice team, so really, we are uh, really a group. Uh,